arrested recently for refusing to get off a plane at CVG Airport. And then she was jailed for a month. That's right. Following questions from the WCPO 9i team, the French embassy says they are investigating just what happened there. And now a warning, you may find some of the video, though, in this story a little disturbing. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham shows how this unfolded from the airport to the courts. <laughs> These are the cries of a 34-year-old woman, more than 4,000 miles from her home. Fatumata Kamara, a French citizen held for nearly a month in the Boone County Jail. Do you want to talk to us? Fearing she would not survive. Okay, we'll die. No, you won't die. Really? Really, you won't die. I don't understand. This poor woman had no idea what was happening to her or what might happen to her. Joe Daner is counsel at Frost Brown Todd and the longtime chair of the law firm's international practice. If you're going to deprive someone of their liberty, they have rights. But a WCPO I-team investigation found Ms. Kamara was never provided with a French interpreter, even though her freedom was at stake. Hey, ma'am. Ms. Kamara's plight began February 24th on an Alaska Airlines plane at Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport. Do you speak English? French. What's that? French. French? Okay, do you understand English though? Airport police body camera video shows officers told her she needed to deboard the plane and get her boarding pass scanned again. When you got on the flight, they didn't scan your boarding pass. He's there. He's fighting. What's that? 508. I know, I understand that. You're in the right spot, but they didn't scan this. You had to have it scanned up front. I'm sorry, it's my place. It, they already scanned, so... But don't Ms. Kamara me. refused to leave. You don't touch me! So four officers grabbed hold of her, carried her off the plane, and arrested her. But I have a ticket. I don't understand why. She was in police custody at the airport for another 50 minutes. Why are you waiting? We have to get the paperwork done. An airport spokeswoman says officers carry cards showing how to use the airport's language interpretation service that's available by phone. But there's no evidence on police body camera video that officers asked Ms. Kamara if she wanted an interpreter. In a bizarre sense, she would have been much better off if she spoke no English. Jail records identified Ms. Kamara as a U.S. citizen. Well, you come back to low risk of both assessments <laughs> that say that uh, there is a flight risk also a danger to others. A French interpreter wasn't present for any of Ms. Kamara's three scheduled hearings in Boone County District Court. I want to explain what I want to tell. A Kentucky Supreme Court order requires a hearing for individuals who appear to have limited English proficiency to determine if they need an interpreter. But that wasn't done for Ms. Kamara. On March 3rd, Ms. Kamara turned down a plea agreement that would have set her free that day. District Judge Marsha Thomas said that meant it would be three more weeks before Ms. Kamara would go to trial. You're going to be waiting in the jail for that hearing. So I'm not guilty. All right. I don't uh, want to, to wait this special. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it. What do you want to set it for, Commonwealth? You can set it for trial if you want. This is limited English proficiency. On March 1st, corrections officers say Ms. Kamara tried to choke herself with a blanket. We're just going to back up and sit down, okay? They put her in a restraint chair, then clothing restricting her movement. Get down. I want to sit here. On March 9th, she I refused orders to get down from the top of the toilet in her cell. Again, she was put in a restraint chair. On March 21st, the jail filed a petition to have Ms. Kamara involuntarily hospitalized for up to 60 days, claiming she was mentally ill, a danger to herself, and that she refused to communicate with staff at the jail, her attorney, or the judge, despite the availability of a translator. The jail also provided records showing after a psychiatrist examined her, Judge Jeff Smith ordered Ms. Kamara involuntarily hospitalized for up to 60 days. Under Kentucky law, mental health court records are confidential. There are no public records confirming how long Ms. Kamara was detained at a hospital or where she is now. The two Boone County District Court judges declined to discuss her criminal case. Her next criminal court hearing is in two weeks. If she fails to appear, the judge could issue a warrant for her arrest. Tanya.